Hey there, and welcome back to my English space. So glad you could make it for another Tuesday video. Today, we are going to be talking about the benefits of learning a foreign language. And there are so many, aren't they? Well, just think, boosting your creativity, sharpening your brain, connecting with new people around the globe, and also offering you a wide range of career and travel opportunities, you name it. In today's video, the word benefits will be our focus. Another word added to your vocabulary bank and fluency boost. A very short and concise lesson that will level up your English. Another incentive to build up your vocabulary. I'm not being harsh on you here, but unless you are staying consistent in your English journey and also bringing your contribution to it, you aren't going to reap the benefits. Here, your first use of the word benefit. If you think this lesson is worth your time and effort, then please keep watching. The basic meaning of the word benefit is an advantage you get from a situation. We have an example right here. Teens need pocket money on the summer holiday more than ever. Part-time jobs seem to be the ideal solution. Besides money, can you see other benefits? Know how to use it correctly. Something is to your benefit or of benefit to you. Hopefully, moving into a house will be to your benefit. There will be no more stairs to take. Volunteering for the elderly has been of great benefit to us. This experience has brought my grandpa and I closer. As a verb, one benefits from something or it benefits you. We could all benefit from the solar power if we intend to cut back on the electricity bill. Moving on, benefit can be used in its figurative meaning. To mean money that the government gives people as a financial help, especially in those cases when people don't have a job. Large families receive benefit. Or benefits can be of different types. For example, she's been on unemployment benefits for three years. It can also be sickness benefit or disability benefit. Another very useful expression is fringe benefits. Fringe benefits. Lucky employees are those getting a company car and holiday vouchers as fringe benefits. Finally, our last expression, friends with benefits. Friends with benefits, shortened to FWV. This expression describes a relationship in which two people who know each other engage in intimate relationships without really dating one another. They're having an affair without being emotionally involved. This is the kind of modern relationship of co-workers, let's say. For example, Carol and Jess are workmates, but also friends with benefits, and it works perfectly. There you go, I've completed my task here, but you are yet to begin. Remember, practice makes perfect. That's why I'm asking you to use the phrases provided today in sentences of your own, so that they stick with you and that your work will pay off in the end. Hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again here next time but not before giving this lesson a like, share it with your friends so that we grow our community here, and of course, subscribe to my channel so that we meet again here next Tuesday. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I'll see you again next Tuesday.